back at Builder here. Well, we're uh, continuing on with our uh, our hobby room uh, renovation, and before we can drywall, we've got uh, a couple more things that we need to do. Uh, need to uh, spray spray the headers with uh, spray foam and just seal them off completely. And then the before I can do that, though, I, I need to put my ledge in around my window uh, because that needs to be spray foamed in as well. Now, uh, I've measured in, and uh, I, I've let a three-quarter inch drywall return all the way around my window. Uh, I'm not going to actually use drywall. Uh, I'm going to be uh, using instead uh, uh, probably particle board or plywood or something, whatever I can find around the shop. Um, and uh, basically, uh, all I'm going to do is just simply build a square frame to go in around this. I'm going to shoot my spray foam in, and then I'm going to, going to set my frame in. And uh, I, I, I need to uh, measure the distance from the window out to the front here. Uh, I need to add half an inch for the depth of the, uh, of, of the, uh, the, the drywall return and an additional half an inch for, for the uh, overhang so that the drywall can come up to it. And, and then I'll just uh, put, put my, uh, my, my molding around, around the window over the, uh, over the ledge and it'll look really neat when it's uh, all finished. So, quick measurement here reveals four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to be able to build my, uh, go out and cut my pieces here at five and a quarter inches and then we'll just build our, our frame to go around it and uh, insert it. Okay, a quick measure around our window reveals that we're going to need uh, three feet there, we'll need three feet at the top, we'll need uh, 16 inches there and 16 inches there, so that's about, uh, about nine uh, feet of uh, material to uh, go around the entire window. Um, so, so I'll have to uh, go, go cut that in the shop and we'll be back shortly. There's two ways that you can do this. Um, you can either uh, build the uh, build the frame in, uh, first and then put it into place, or you can build the frame in place. I'm going to do both, and uh, uh, basically just just do whatever makes the job easier at the time. Um, particular job I've got. Uh, One's just easier to put in uh, as a unit, the other's easier to put in uh, piece by piece. So, here we go. <laughs> Let's get your ear protection and get your nail, nail gun. finishing. Basically I just need these things to hold in place until I foam them and then the, uh, the foam will pretty much take over uh, holding everything together. take our frame into the next room and uh, put it in the window. 
this little job I've had on the go for uh, a little while. I've uh, done the framing and and uh, the gutting and removing all the good stuff. We're ready to rebuild this washroom now. Um, I, I've also had to uh, get uh, the uh, uh, construction crew to come by and open the floor up there. They did a nice job of cutting the concrete. Uh, uh, I didn't have anything that would do a floor cut so and uh, not cover the house in dust so uh, it's one of those situations where you, you uh, hire the professionals to do the work so anyways uh, we, we've got our frame here and as you can see in the window uh, I've uh, got uh, a nice tight frame uh, built up to around the uh, the window area so what we're going to do we're just simply going to uh, put our uh, ledge into place and we're going to tack it and that's about all there is to that job so okay now for this exercise we're just going to simply uh, lift the uh, frame and we're going to put it into the uh, the, the drywall returns now in situations like this we're going to have to tap it back into the drywall return so it pinches and holds but it's handy to have a sheet of actual drywall that you plan to use so that you can put it up against the uh, frame and make sure that you've tapped it in far enough that you're level. Uh, you don't want to tap it in too far, you just want to become come, come nice and flush to it. So just have a, a piece, of, piece of drywall handy for doing this. And Quite easy. I'm going to have to turn my back to you though, but uh, we're just going to take the frame and line it up with the drywall returns and we just simply tap it into place. idea to only uh, put one or two uh, small drag nails in this tip. That way if you do have to tap and it might be a little tight or something, whatever, you can just open the corner up just a, a touch uh, j just to get it to, to line up and go in. And uh, then if you need to later, you can just cock the corner just, just to cover over what you did there. Like I said, now just take a piece of drywall and make sure, just tap it in until you're flush. that flush at the bottom you can just take just take your brad nailer and just pop a brad right on the outside at the bottom that keeps that in place and then you can go to the top and do the same thing up there get that uh, aligned Okay, now if you look at this situation just above my uh, new ledge here that I put in, uh, while we're on the top of the window, I guess it's not the ledge anymore, but uh, you get the idea. Um, you, you'll notice I got a situation here where a small piece of drywall needs to be put in there. Uh, it's probably convenient at this point to just add the drywall at this time rather than trying to, to push in and out on the uh, frame to try and level it. Uh, 
and then once you've got the drywall in place, then you can just use it to uh, to level the uh, the whole thing. So we're just going to put that in place. Now, a little trick with this, okay, is uh, just uh, take a couple of drywall screws and just put them right in the end here, and that. That'll just give you a couple little handles to work with because basically what we have to do is we have to tip this thing in and then uh, and then uh, work with it here. So we'll just make use a couple of drywall screws and that'll make a couple of neat little handles to work with. And then basically all we do get up here and we just simply tip it, put it up in place and we just tip it in. There we go. And just use your handles and tip it into place. just a touch there and other than that she's flush that's exactly what we're after so we'll just uh, take our drill now and put that uh, well, we'll put a couple brads in just to secure things up on top here and then now before we actually drive those drive those screws home, I just remembered we got to foam that back there. So that's where it makes it handy to pull that back out again because we've got to fill this up with foam now. And that's going to be, okay, yeah, that's all ready to go. Uh, this whole window is ready. Uh, Next step now is take a can of spray foam and just uh, foam all around the edges. And we're going to fill that cavity with foam. And then what foam is left over, we're going to take into the next room and we're going to build the other uh, the other window ledge. We're going to build that in place. Okay, next we're on to the step where we uh, put this all together. You get yourself a can of spray foam and put it into the gaps and you want to follow the instructions on the can and just fill that gap up about about halfway uh, wherever you've got a gap just get some foam into there and you need to work quickly with this stuff Got a few minutes. I'll fill it up about halfway, and it will expand to fill to fill the gap. And you can't let this stuff stop for more than a couple of minutes because it. Because if you do, you can't get it restarted. So we're just going to work real fast here. stuff on it, it never ever comes off so
Again, keep a uh, piece of drywall handy to line up, up things. Make sure you're going to get this all level here. Once this is set, it's pretty much permanent. So. Before this sets permanently in the tube, I'll we'll just spray the rest of it into this cavity. Uh, like I said, you want to fill it about halfway because it will actually uh, expand quite a bit. you can get rid of the excess, all the better.